not just yet we're still waiting however i'm starting to doubt myself as to which male lion this is this is definitely not tinyo and hopefully he'll look at us so we can get a view i haven't decided if it is tin um if it is nena or nsuku just yet we haven't had the greatest view but he has snuggled up to the other lioness and he was actually grooming her just a moment ago but now have a little listen to the sounds coming from the cubs Little ones are complaining and trying to suckle. Have a little listen. Now that's a sound we haven't heard in quite some time. Cheryl, now you're wondering what is the survival rate of these cubs. Um, Cheryl, at the moment it's a little bit difficult, of course, uh, to even try and, and get you an answer just because these cubs in particular have so many obstacles against them and and the main one being the fact uh, that their mothers have mange she's not interested in the cubs today uh, so that's a little bit of a problem of course and um, which makes it that much more difficult uh, but typically the first six months of a lion's life is the hardest and normally if they make it to six months they've got a better chance and then if they get to about two years it's a really relatively good chance now the cubs are really fat so I don't know if they've just been drinking milk because the adults don't seem to be too fat but she's a scarred lioness she looks like she's been in a couple of battles a couple of cuts on her eyes but leading the cubs past the cars now don't you jump on that male lion you're going to find yourself in a bit of trouble this little one over here is very brave and, and just trying to give this boy a little bit of love but he's not interested but they've got the most gorgeous eyes, the Styx cubs. Definitely a completely different coloration from the Nguhuma cubs. They've got lovely, well, let's see, this one's eyes are a little bit more yellow. Turn and look at us, please, so we can see your beautiful eyes. Go on. Look how scruffy they are. Yeah, so both of them seem to have almost amber eyes, the same coloration of eyes that amber eyes does. And it is absolutely lovely, like a hazelnut color, if you will. It really, really, really is beautiful. Now, mom is actually moved off. I think she's hungry. I think she wants to go and look for something to eat. And I did see a couple of impala starting to come along onto the airstrip. So we'll see what she does with her cubs and uh, where she leaves them. And I'll just keep an eye out on her. But it might be fun to actually watch her. These two, however, won't be too interested in feeding at the moment as this is our honeymoon couple. Let's see what she's going to do. She, she's just disappearing over the edge. Or she could be just going to look for a bit of shade, maybe find her spot for the morning. I'm just trying to get organized with all the cables around here. Hmm. It's, I don't have a look. <laughs> Right, turn around quickly. Yes, naughty. They naughty look. Very, very, very naughty looks on their faces. Don't worry, I'm not going to drive over you. I'm just coming a little bit closer. It's okay, relax. Oh, the little cub's a little bit nervous. We're sitting at very strange angles in the quarry. Of course, there's nothing flat and nothing level in here. So that little cub is obviously just a little bit on the shy side uh, when it comes to the cars. The other one doesn't mind so much, but you often find that uh, with the various animals. They've all got different traits. Some are a little bit more relaxed and some aren't. And of course that lioness and the big Birmingham they got a fright just because the cub got up and ran straight into them. But isn't this wonderful? I think the lioness has left her cubs with these this lot. Now, in case you're wondering, hang on, this is actually really sweet. There we go. Who is this? Is this Nana or is this Nsuku? I think it is Nsuku. Look at the lovely golden eyes. I don't see that very prominent equal scar uh, that is on Nana's nose. So I think that this is indeed Nsuku. But if I am mistaken, please let me know. Hashtag Safari Live. 
I just haven't seen Nsuku for such a long time. So, sorry, Megan, may I please have the question again from Rakesh? Where did that lion cub go? It's gone behind us. It's naughty. Ah, Rakesh, you're wondering, when do lions hunt for food? Is it weekly? It actually depends. Now, I'm, I'm looking over my shoulder because that is going to be amazing. There's a little... Should we reposition, Jandre? Or are we gonna, I think we're going to get the aerial. Uh, sorry, Rakesh, there's so much action, but this little cub is climbing up on a fallen leadwood, an old leadwood, which is actually beautiful. And hopefully his sibling is going to go and run over there too. This is lovely. I'm the king of the world. I'm the queen of the world, I should say. And so, Rikesh, they, if they could hunt every single day and they were successful enough, they definitely would do so. However, uh, unfortunately, the big cats don't have the most successful hunting strategies. Uh, so if they can catch something, they typically want it to be as large of an animal as, as possible so that they can feed off of it for a few days. And then from there, if they can get something every third or fourth day, that would be absolutely wonderful. But isn't that such a stunning shot? Little one, curious, going exploring. And again, now you can see the two different personalities. This is the bold, adventurous type, whereas the other one is a little bit more skittish. Oh, this is so beautiful. Now, Caitlin, you're wondering at what age will these cubs leave their moms and go venturing for food? Caitlin, they actually become quite curious normally from about, I find it about six months old, they seem to think that they're the biggest cats in the bush and they go and do their own things. Just disappearing behind the car. This one's very bold. Um, so it's, it's quite hard to say, but they start joining in on the hunts at about a year and a half. They do watch from a distance from about a year. We've actually seen the most amazing sighting of uh, the, the Nkuhuma cubs uh, partaking in, well, trying to bring down a buffalo calf. The adults, uh, the lionesses actually just sat and watched them and let them climb all over it. And, and the cubs were anywhere between about four and seven months. So that was quite exciting. I'd never seen anything like that before. And I reckon this little one over here is going to be a very much an adventurous little lion. And probably go off and chase squirrels and birds and those types of things as often as it can. Whether it will catch one of them or not, probably not. As I think they've got a long way to go before uh, they've really, well completed their stalking and pouncing techniques but the other sibling now is laying lay as flat as it can and I think we're going to see a little pounce happen come on no I'm just going to look at you now <laughs> ah thank you so I think most of you have said that you you reckon that this isn't Suku I think so well, when he walked across the frame earlier I didn't really get to see him and ne um, Tinyo and Informa's manes have also started to fill out quite a bit now. So it often becomes quite difficult if you don't get a front-on view. He's, he's actually got quite scarred now. If you remember the last time we saw Nsuku, he was beautiful and clean. He had the most gorgeous face. And now he seems to have a couple of little scratches on his nose. Uh, so that could be from many different things. It could be mating with lionesses. Or it could just be scrapping around a carcass. But nothing too serious. Nowhere near as scarred as what Mufumo is. He's the most gorgeous lion to photograph now. With that cut coming down his eye. But this is absolutely lovely. Now I'm sitting here all by myself. I don't know if anybody else wants to come to the sighting. I haven't heard anyone calling me just yet. But that also may mean that I don't have communication with the other guides. But in a moment, we're actually going to leave this lot. And I'd love to go and figure out where that lioness has gone. She looked thin. She didn't look like she'd eaten anything for quite some time. And especially with two young cubs, she's going to ignore the mating pair, who the last thing that they want to do is eat. And she'll have to go off and find her own food so that she can keep producing milk for these little ones. The other two don't have that obligation. And they can go with food for a little bit longer. There we go. I love the way that they start to stalk, head dropping down towards the ground. Come on, do a big leap. You guys haven't done any big jumps for us today. And get edging, no. These two are not the greatest at hunting just yet, as you've seen. I don't know if they really know what they're doing just yet, or if it's because of their full bellies that they are reluctant to play around. 
funny little things, lions, especially when they're this age. See, they're looking for something to entertain them in the water, whether it's going to be a terrapin or a frog. They might splash around. Oh, lovely. Look at that happy tail wagging. Ooh, look at me. I always think when they do that, that's what they're saying. They're just showing off. Ah, there's another car coming now. That's great. They'll be able to control the sighting then. But fast asleep. And this is it though. With this mating pair, this is good. The, the time that they're mating is going to dwindle down. They're on day number three. Now, Buttons Cockatoo, you're wondering if it is true, the darker a male lion's mane gets, the older it is. Uh, not necessarily, because you do get blonde maned lions out uh, in the wilderness too, that don't just seem to have that dark coloration. Uh, so, not necessarily true, but the mane does normally only start darkening at about between five, five and a half years, and then eventually they'll uh, develop their, their massive manes. But I love the fact that that lioness has just left her two cubs now with the mating pairs. Isn't that wonderful? That in a pride, and because the bond between the various members is so strong, you can just leave them with the babysitter. If one doesn't want to go anywhere, well, okay, well, you, it's your chance to have a look after them. I'm going to go off and do something else now. But this is quite cool. This is really lovely. It's nice to see a little lion cub sort of dwarfed up against a big male lion. I think there's nothing quite as precious. And Nsuko seems to be quite a nice dad. He doesn't mind the cubs when they go up to him. Unlike Tinyo, who has zero, very little tolerance from what I saw in the last few months, for the Nguhuma cubs especially. He always used to swap them and growl at them. Mfumo is different. We saw the most amazing behavior with Mfumo, how he would take time out of the day to go up and greet every single lioness and he'd spend time with them and groom them and he also tolerated the cubs too he let them jump on his back and bite his mane he didn't mind so much and i think Nsuko's very much like that too he seems to be quite a placid male lion i haven't seen him get into too many scraps Tinyo, i think is the fighter We're going to keep playing playing around here yeah, with the lions. Well, they're going to keep playing around us. And I'm going to send you across now to Tristan, who's on foot and finally found some creepy crawlies. We have, we found 